Hey guys, hey Tom, welcome back to my channel. Today I am channeling my inner Emma Chamberlain. I've secretly always wanted to be Emma Chamberlain and go thrifting. So today I'm attempting to go thrifting for the first time and do a photo shoot in that outfit. Now the thing you have to know about me is I am very, very cheap. I do not like spending money on anything other than food, so I always need more clothes to do photo shoots for my Instagram, but I really hate buying new clothes. So I figured I could buy inexpensive clothes at a thrift store that look unique because they're thrifted and hopefully won't break the bank. So that is what I'm doing today. But first, before we do that, I need to get some breakfast. I just ordered myself a waffle. All right, it is eating time, my favorite time of the day. All right, so I got my waffle. It's a chocolate chip waffle. It's kind of my go-to uh, like morning breakfast snack when I want to treat myself. It's only like five or $6, which is a pretty good deal for a waffle, I feel like. And it is super delicious. So it is just how I'm going to start my day today. Although I am eating in the car because I try not to eat in the outdoor eating if I don't have to. Uh, I just try to avoid being near people because better to be safe than sorry. Cheers. Mm. Go for Okay, finish eating. Now, before I go thrifting, I do want to talk about something. I know we're going to get comments about gentrification. Gentrification is when more affluent people move into lower class neighborhoods than raising rent and making it harder for the lower class people to live there. Many of them get displaced because of it. And it applies to thrifting because thrifting and secondhand clothing is typically uh, a great way for lower income people to be able to buy clothes and have access to clothes because they can't afford more expensive clothes that middle class people can. So there is a feeling that middle class people or upper class people should not shop at secondhand stores. But then there's also the whole side of environmentally, fast fashion is terrible for the environment and buying new clothes wastes so much water and that it's good to buy secondhand clothes because then you're giving the clothes more life and you're not spending the money on these new clothes that then are terrible for the environment. So there's kind of, depending on which side of it you're coming from, it can be good to do it, it can be bad. I've done my research and from what I've read, it is okay to buy it, um, especially if you're not buying it in a, if you're not like going to, going a far distance to a super poor neighborhood to use their thrift stores, but you get one near your own neighborhood. Um, do your own research, decide what you want to do, but it is something that I'm conscious of. I'll make sure to only buy clothes that fit my body type so they're not, I'm not buying like big clothes um, so that there's still clothes there available for plus size people. Um, I'm going to be conscious while I'm purchasing things there and try not to buy too much. Um, please do your own research for if you want to go thrifting, but I did want to mention that that is something that I'm conscious of, aware of, and personally, after doing lots of research, I'm okay with going, but I do understand from both sides why some people say it's good, why some people say it's bad. All right, let's get shopping. All right, I just got here. I switched to filming on my phone because people don't usually like when you bring your big camera into places. This place is like a literal factory. It's massive. <laughs> um, all right, let's head inside. Never been here before. I headed inside and I just saw one large bin of clothes. I was very confused. Then I realized everyone was waiting around to go into this bigger room. Then when we finally got inside, it was like a mad dash. Literally everyone ran once it was full of clothes and they let us come in. Then I started just going through the clothes, found a few things that I liked. The shirt looked interesting, but honestly, I didn't find that much. So then I just went over to the section where they had props, which is basically things I just used for my food photography. Got really excited, found literally a billion things I wanted from there, then went back to my car. Alrighty, so, so I ended up buying way more just props than the actual clothes. So in the end, and the clothes that I bought, I only bought two pieces. It was one ninety nine a pound. It was one point seven six pounds. So it cost me three dollars and fifty cents. And then most of what I bought were all these props. As you guys know, I do food photography, so I'm always looking for like interesting props and stuff. And all of this cost me, I think, ten dollars total just for this. So that was quite a steal. All right, I'm gonna head to another thrift store. So far, off to a pretty good start. All right, I'm at location number two. This place is called American Thrift. This looks much more like a easier place to shop. Um, let's go inside. I really love the layout of this one. It was just kind of really fun and inviting. It was really spacious. It felt really safe being in there. There was lots of room. I liked a lot of the clothes I saw, but I noticed that almost everything, like literally everything was either a large or a plus size option. So definitely great if you're plus size. I highly recommend checking this out. I was only able to find one or two items that were my size, but overall I think it's a really cool store, especially for plus size people. All right, I'm at my third and final location, checking out another Goodwill. Let's hope I find some more stuff. All right, this place is a little bit more pricey. This came out to like $20. I got a light jacket, like a rain jacket, two shirts, and this little bowl. Um, all right, I think that's all the thrift shopping I'm gonna do for today. Time to head home, put these in the wash, and then I guess try them on. All right, I'm back home. It is now time to do laundry. We're gonna put these into the washer. Washer? Yeah, I guess that's what you call it. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna now wash this because it's important to do that when you buy thrifted clothes. 
All right, it is now time to try on the clothes. First up is this neon polo. I think I was definitely most excited to try. I felt like filming with no shirt on was very unnecessary, so I just blurred it. This on um, because I have no good polos right now and I feel like this bright color kind of matches my loud personality. So let's see how it fits. Oh, I think that fits pretty well, wow. All right. This is a keeper. Next up is this red sweater. Now I happen to have something very similar, although it's getting very small on me. And one of the things I wanted to buy when I went thrifting were some more like formal-ish clothes because I'm kind of running out of those. Um, I haven't bought new those in a while. So um, let's give this a try. This one I was a little bit concerned about the fit, but again, it was like a dollar or two. So not the end of the world if it, <laughs> if it doesn't fit me perfectly. Yeah, that's too big. Next up is this shirt. I saw it and I immediately grabbed it. It was just super unique. It has this like interesting detailing on the front, on the back. It's some type of vintage um, Ralph Lauren, which is kind of interesting. So I figured let's just give it a try. I'm most optimistic for this one. The fit looks like it should fit me perfectly. So I am quite excited. Definitely something I, like that I would ever wear ever, meaning like I've no other clothing that looks like this. But uh, that's kind of the point. This is a step out of my comfort zone. Oh God, it's a little bit tight. Let's see. Ugh. Kind of looks like Where's Waldo. This shirt just turned me into Waldo. All right, this is what I'm thinking. The arms are obviously ridiculous. Like I can't wear these, but this part of it, I feel like still kind of looks cool. So I wonder if I put a jacket over it. So you just see this part. I mean, for a picture, obviously I wouldn't wear this out, uh, but you know, <laughs> sometimes I just wear clothes for pictures. Um, if I wear something that covers the arm part, this part kind of looks okay. So maybe I can make it work with a light jacket over. Next up, I'm gonna try on these pants. I'm gonna leave this shirt on because I feel like it'll make everyone laugh. So here's a little transition, bam. All right, as if this shirt couldn't get more atrocious, these pants, wow. I mean, it could work for like a picture, but I would, oh my God, look, look at this. These are, no, pants were probably a fail. But this is the thing, I have to make an outfit with the clothes I bought for an Instagram picture. That's kind of the point of this video. So I'm gonna have to wear these pants because they're the only pants that I bought because I'm stupid. Last up is this shirt. I don't know why I bought it. It just looked very comfortable. So let's give it a try. Oh my God, how on earth am I gonna get out of this? It's like a straight jacket in here. I literally can't, I have no idea how I'm gonna get out of this. Oh, I escaped. Wow, that shirt really doesn't fit me. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable, not gonna lie. I feel like this is not something I would ever wear for like an Instagram picture, but I feel like if I was like on a ski trip and I just wanted something like warm, comfortable to wear, it kind of gives me like thermal vibes. It might actually be a thermal. So I'd wear it. So this is definitely a good purchase. I'll wear this in the winter just to stay warm. Um, and I kind of like the little details, but definitely not like Instagram picture worthy. Alrighty, I think this was better than expected. I definitely am like pleasantly surprised by some items and also terrified by others. That shirt is a literal straight jacket. I'm now going to try to put together an outfit, get ready for a photo shoot, get someone to take some pictures of me, and then we'll start taking the pictures for Instagram. All right, it's now photo shoot time here with one of my best friends, Sam. Uh, I think I look atrocious. Sam does think I look atrocious as well, but we're, we're gonna see if we can make it work. I was being like lower -ish. I feel like I'm going for like little hoodie vibes, you know? All right, I'm back for the photo shoot. That went much better than I thought. I'll put the picture now on the screen. I think it came out pretty well. The pants are definitely crazy. Not for me, don't fit me. I think they're women's pants, but they work in this picture. That shirt is pretty fire. As long as I roll up the sleeves, it is decent. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like this, comment down below. Let me know what else you'd like to see. Click the big red subscribe button if you haven't already to be the first one to post new videos and hit the like button if you enjoyed watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.